Yo guys, what is up? Crafter here and today we're gonna talk about Battlefield 1 team balancing and especially how the team balancer works in this game. If you clicked on this video, you probably are already frustrated with the current balancing system and how it performs, but I'm gonna explain in simple way how it actually works and how it puts players in each team. So to keep this as simple as I possibly can, the team balancer in Battlefield 1 puts player in each team by the skill statistic. And the skill statistic is basically all of the statistics in your profile combined together, but you have to keep in mind that some of them mean more and some of them mean less. So for example the objective statistics like taking a flag or defending the flag, reviving teammates or dropping ammo, points for that will mean more for the skill statistic. So if you get more objective points, you will get higher skill overall. So that means that even if you score 5 or 10 KD every round, you will never ever have as high skill statistic as the guy who is taking flags and for example has 2 KD. This really is the simplest example I think that I could use for that, so you would get the overall look how the skill statistic works. So let's say we have scenario that we have operations game mode and we put players with high skill into the defending team. For example, five guys with 300-400 skill and they have 0.5 KD for example, but they really have a lot of points for defending flags. And then the balancer, to balance the game, puts the guy with the 3 or 4 KD in the attacking team because technically he has lower skill statistic than all those five guys but the main problem is if the guy with the 3 or 5 KD will attack the flags he will easily wipe up those five guys defending them because obviously they have 0.5 KDs they're not good gunfight players so they're not gonna win one-on-one -on -one situations they're not gonna carry the team with impressive kills and this is where the problem starts. And now you might ask the question, why was the balancer better in previous Battlefield titles? For example, let's take a look at Battlefield 4. So I know that Battlefield 4's balancing system wasn't great, but for sure it was better than Battlefield 1's at the moment. The major difference between those two games is that Battlefield 1's servers are mainly hosted by DICE. Of course you can rent servers, but again, you can only rent them from DICE. I don't know how it worked on consoles in BF4, but I suppose you also rented servers from DICE directly, but on a PC we did not have that feature. We had to rent servers from the individual server providers. And you had the wide range of choices between those providers. You had providers like i3dnet, gamers something, and it, it was really great. But the major difference between all this is that you actually could add your own plugins to the server. You had the environment for plugins like Procon or Aircon. Of course you had to pay for the license, but you had the ability to buy or install free plugins onto the server that helped with the team balance. Not only team balance, but things like vote map. It was all server plugins. They weren't implemented into the game in BF4. So what I'm trying to say there is that admins had way more options to use for balancing the server. They had plugins that were specifically looking for KD, score per minute, any other statistic, headshots per kill or something like that. They could balance everything. And in BF1 we do not have these balancing options at all. So, as you see, differences in balance system are pretty significant between those two games. And this might be a reason why Battlefield 1 teams are always unbalanced. I'm not certain, I'm not game designer, I'm not game developer, I don't know shit about programming, but these are my observations as a player, so just keep that in mind. If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like, subscribe, if you are new to the channel, I also do other types of Battlefield 1 videos like tutorials, tips and tricks, so make sure to check them out and as always, I see you on the battlefield!